Welcome to the Dead News. The Dead wrapped up the East Coast summer tour and returned home to California for the Rex Foundation benefit shows at the Greek Theater in Berkeley, California. Highlights included the West Coast debut of several of the new songs and an encore of the Beatles' Blackbird with Bob Weir on acoustic guitar. The shows were broadcast live to over 60 radio stations in California. They play one more venue, Monterey, California, on July 29th, 30th, and 31st, before taking a vacation for the most of August. On August 26th, they're back to work in Tacoma, Washington, with Carlos Santana. Then on to Eugene, Oregon, on August 28th, with Jimmy Cliff and the Robert Cray Band. In September, the Dead began a month-long East Coast tour with dates in Landover, Maryland, on September 2nd, 3rd, 5th, and 6th. Unconfirmed dates include Philadelphia on September 8th, 9th, 11th, and 12th, and a nine-day stint at Madison Square Garden beginning on the 14th. The last show at the Garden will be a benefit on the 25th of September to save the rainforest. Proceeds will be going to the Rainforest Coalition, Cultural Survival, and Greenpeace. Rumor has it that Jerry Garcia is working on the final tracks for a Garcia Band Live album, which includes cuts from his 1987 Broadway shows. For those of you anxiously awaiting the release of the next Dead album, don't hold your breath. Estimated release dates range from six weeks to six months. Word is that tracks were recorded at the Skywalker Ranch, owned by Star Wars producer George Lucas. The Dead are the first group to record there. They returned to the studio in the two weeks between the Greeks and Laguna for more work on the album. Acclaimed Summer of Love photographer Gene Anthony will present an eight-projector show of his work September 23rd and 24th at the Red Victorian Theater in San Francisco. Plans are underway for a nationwide tour. After a successful visit a few years ago, the Dalai Lama's personal choir of Tibetan monks will return to the United States. Mickey Hart will join this unique group during a November tour, which includes stops in Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York. Recent communications from the Grateful Dead pleading with deadheads to clean up the scene at the shows seem to be working. After the main shows, the townspeople have welcomed the dead and the deadheads back any time. Even the police were delighted. The Greek shows also demonstrated that deadheads can and do respect the places they visit. On July 16th, Jerry and Mickey joined Merle Saunders, John Cipollina, Grace Slick, Paul Kantner, and others in Golden Gate Park. The free concert celebrated the end of a five-week Soviet-American peace walk across the United States. This was Jerry's first park performance since 1975. Jerry and Mickey jammed with Zero, Merle Saunders, and Pete Sears on Think, also known as Just In Case, Knocking On Heaven's Door, and a hot rendition of Goodnight Irene. And that's the dead news for now.